Thank you, Safi. Okay, fourth graders, we've been, um, did anyone notice that we have the mathematical practices on the wall now? We hadn't had that before. We've had the scientific practices for a long time. Um, and one of, does anyone see a common feature between mathematical practices and scientific practices? Something that mathematicians do that scientists also do. Also? Use models. Reason with numbers, analyze data, construct explanations, look for patterns and make sense of them. Okay. Use math. Use math. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that there are very many differences between the scientific and the mathematical practices when I when I look at them. Uh, the one that I, we're going to be doing a lot of those things today, and I want you to pay attention to which of those practices, whether it's science or math, or even something that we, we know that we do in writing or when we're reading. Um, I want you to pay attention to what you're doing to solve the problem that we have today. Okay? I have a question, and the question is, what do these things back here, these tools, I'm going to call them tools, how can they be used as models for fractions? Well, some of you are already sharing ideas, but before you share an idea, I think I'd like you to get a chance to investigate the tool. Okay, so what's going to happen is that I am going to give you, and I'll answer a question in a minute. Okay, so show that you're listening to Dania and Ted to these directions. I am going to be assigning you a collaborator, someone with whom you will work, and you and your collaborator will come and choose one of these tools. I will show those in a minute. Okay? And you and your collaborator are going to be thinking, how do the tools model the idea of fractions that we really just began talking about recently, but have been using throughout the school year? Okay? I want to, fractions are numbers, special numbers, and I want us to see how these tools model them. Now, I have some opportunities for you to communicate your reasoning here. It says on this paper, how does the model represent fractions? You're going to put your names on this paper. You will try to identify, and I'm not going to tell you the names of these models. I'm going to see how you identify them. That's something I'm curious about. And then this blank space is for your representations. Anything you observe and you think is important to write down, I encourage you to do that, okay? So you and your collaborator are going to choose a model, investigate it, represent your thinking. Reality. Thought we were calling it now. Yep. Expectation. <laughs> what are you doing? Looking at something. I'm being smart. Don't judge me. It's not science. You don't know. Be quiet. My mind is about to be blown, I think. What are you doing? Like, I'm What dance is that? <laughs> so, huh, what is it? Isn't this like a 12? Okay. So, well, you just said it. Yeah, so that is a 12. A 12 is a third of a fourth. Wait. So, took you long enough. Yay! A 12th is a, a, 12th is a third of a fourth. <laughs>
A twelfth is a third of a fourth. Mr. Cool. A twelfth is a third of a fourth. What is it? A twelfth is a third of a fourth. Twelve. Is a third of In a fourth. Uh, how do you prove it? So, so this is this is um, these are twelve, and then this, this is, is a four. And if you do three of them on top of the four, it equals one full fourth. So one twelve is one third of a fourth. That like just blew my mind. Because <laughs> until you showed me, I was like, "What are you talking?" About? I tried to do it with the um, the tent, well, but might, I'm like, "Wait, might be something else." That's cool. yeah, that's awesome. And also, a fourth is a half of it. What um, else could you say though? You said. A th- a twelfth is a third of a fourth, but all, what else do you know? A fourth is a half of a pound. <laughs> right. But what do you what do you notice? How many twelfths equals one fourth? Okay. How many? Oh, three. Right. My mind is blown. <laughs> Now, that's definitely a big question. I love math. Please. Huh? Oh my gosh. Three. The fifth challenge on? <laughs> three twelve. Wait, no. Yeah, three twelve equals the same as one four. You know, these are not just all twelve. These are not twelve. I know. These are not same. Wait, what? These are not singular at all. This is, this is one twelve. I know, but it's not where, like, this is twelve, this is twelve. I know. All together, they're twelve. I know. I this know. is one twelve. And yeah. Yeah. Yay! My kid! Are you doing four? Yeah, it's a good thing. Mm-hmm. So we're going to try it out and figure out some other... I'm not even making them together. It's great. No. No. I'm giving you a little tip. Don't eat your chip. I think I just said something again. Ha 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 no, I think. What was this? That's an eight. An eight is a half of a four. That's a good